What's up guys, Dion here with another episode of Freak Show Freak Out. Today we're talking about episode 9, which is the Tupperware Party Massacre. First, before I talk about anything else, I want to talk about how excited I was for the ghost or the drunk illusion of Ma Petite. So glad we got to see her again, even if it was for just like a split second. And also, the ghost or drunk illusion of Ethel. Uh, she was there when Jimmy was drunk and performing at a Tupperware party. And she was there when Del was trying to commit suicide. The first thing I thought last week was like, oh man, this isn't like Coven where everyone can just come back alive again, so we're not going to see anyone. But we do, which is great, even if they are just ghosts. But yeah, Del tried to commit suicide, and before, well, I mean, not before, he actually did manage to hang himself. But before he could die, Desiree saved him. Just before that uh, suicide went down, Del got stopped by Stanley, who... Um, how do I put this not in a weird way? Whips out his piece, and Del discovers he's a freak. I'm still a little bit confused by that, like, is it big, or is it just like an elephant's trunk, literally? Or like, what? what is wrong with it? This is killing me, I know it shouldn't, but it's killing me. The thing I loved the most about this episode was Bet and Dot's sisterly bond, like, they believe they are on the verge of getting separated by a doctor and making their wish come true and they have this sort of goodbye moment of like, I want you to live on for me and that actually convinces Dot, I think it's Dot, to not want to get separated anymore because they're, they're sisters, they've always been together and that's kind of like the heart and soul of Dot, she said, which was like, oh, I wanted to like, hug them both and their one body. Speaking of body, they make it back to the tent and Jimmy runs into them and Dot confesses her love to Jimmy. Just before they were about to have the most awkward sex scene ever, he says he's in love with someone else. And no, it's not I'm a Wiggles. See, I told you I can remember her name. No, it's not Desiree, it's probably Maggie. But okay, I want to take things back to the very, very beginning of the episode. Dandy went to the freak show tent to get a reading by Maggie and he has a run-in with Jimmy, who obviously knows that he's the clown, or the second clown, that was uh, in the tent when he and Maggie were kidnapped. Jimmy tries to fight him, and obviously he can't because he's super drunk, and Dandy declares that he's going to make his life a living hell. Flash forward to a little bit later, when, he's at, when uh, Jimmy's at the Tupperware party, Jimmy's too drunk to perform there, and he leaves, and Dandy shows up right after, and right at that moment I was like, well, they're dead, and they were, and they were literally in a bloodbath. They should have called this episode bloodbath or blood pool, maybe. And of course, Dandy frames him at the end. Ah, oh, I just want Dandy to die. I just want him to die. That's all. I suppose Dandy's story is a little more interesting now for me. Not by much, but I just I don't really see the point. I'm really interested in like the tent itself. I don't really care about his side story that much. But, I mean, obviously, now he's framing Jimmy and things are about to get serious in the next episode. We'll see what goes on there. Another thing I am not too happy about, Dandy kills, well, no, he doesn't kill, but he convinces a cop to do his bidding and kill Regina, a.k.a. Dora's daughter. Actually, I'm not sure if she's dead. They didn't really show her dead body lying around unless I missed it. But he definitely shot her and asked where to bury the body. Money talks, you guys. Money talks. And that cop was a dirty cop and was willing to get paid to kill her. I have to say, nothing really shocked me this episode. Um, it was good, though. I mean, the most morbid scene I thought, besides uh, Dandy trying to convince Regina to take a bloodbath with him, was at the beginning when frickin' Dandy was using his mom and the Avon lady as a puppet dot in bed. I read a little, oh. Blech. Whatever, it's American Horror Story, you gotta expect stuff like that, and I do, and I that's why I love the show. So I am going to rate this episode 3 Scared Clown Heads out of 4. Again, you know, I, w I enjoyed it, but I wasn't at the edge of my seat. I, obviously things are probably gonna come to pass now that we're getting to the last few episodes here, and I'm excited for it. That's all I got. Until next time, see you guys next week for the next Freak Show Freak Out. Goodbye. Oh, that didn't work as well as I planned. Oh.